There are so many Montessori terms used, and it may not be so easy for everyone to understand. One such term is follow the child. This beautiful term coined by Dr. Montessori is at the core of her philosophy. As a parent and as a teacher trainer, this is one of my personal favorites. I believe that if we can understand this term and apply it correctly the way Dr. Maria Montessori wanted us to, it will bring out the best in our children. But what does follow the child mean? And how can we follow the child the way Maria Montessori wanted us as parents and as Montessori guides to? Follow the child can also be understood as trust the child. Trust the child to show you what they need. Follow them by meeting their unique developmental needs and giving them what they need when they need it. But what does this specifically mean for a parent? It means respecting your child's interests and keeping your own feelings aside, sitting back and watching those interests unfold as and when your child is ready, not pushing your child when you see their interest developing. When we follow the child, we must observe what interests and excites them, and then we need to find a way to work that into our teaching and into our lives. Following the child requires patience, standing by as our child repeats the same activity over and over without interrupting them or forcing them to move on to something else. I once had a parent who asked me during a seminar. He said to me, my daughter, she loves to transfer water with a sponge. She can do this over and over and over again for days. Tell me, what do I do? How do I make it stop? The parent was desperate and he was exasperated. And you know what I told him? You absolutely don't stop her. You have to follow your child. When a child repeats an activity over and over again, it is actually a golden opportunity for a parent and a teacher. The child is actually showing you exactly what she loves doing and what her interests are. So we follow her. Now this does not mean that we just sit back and not do anything. We can create other similar activities that will give us some variations to doing what she enjoys. Maybe change the sponge or the containers, trying to offer her something more challenging. We could even extend this into our daily lives by offering to show her how to clean up a table with the sponge. We build on that interest that she's shown us and we help to develop it. Is it becoming a little clearer now? Next, how do we follow the child? Let me break this down into five simple steps for you so you can follow your child with ease. Step one, observe. I can never stop emphasizing how much value there is when you observe your child. It is the key to finding out so much about your child. Now, what exactly do you want to observe? What are they drawn to? How does their body move? What do they repeat? Step two, provide opportunities. It is important to give them opportunities to develop their interests. You could expose them to books on different topics, spend time with them in nature, lay out new materials that allow for creativity and open-ended play. Step three, space and time. Give your child the space and time to just be. When we have children on this rigid schedule and agenda, they don't have a chance to find out what their own interests are and they don't have a chance to explore it. Step four, respect. Always show respect for your child's interest. We must never laugh at it or show disappointment in their choice. We must also never try and persuade them away from something that is exciting them. Step five, sharing. Share in your child's joy and interest. Help them to build upon it and follow their passion, even if it isn't yours. When one of my sons was four years old, he was fascinated by insects something that I personally am totally averse to. He had this magnifying glass and he would love to look at bugs up close. One day we were in the park and he ran to me so excited and he grabbed my hand, pulling me to a nearby bush. And he pointed to the stems and said, look mama, so many cocoons. And sure enough, when I looked, there were dozens and dozens of cocoons on the branches. Let me be totally honest with you. It was the creepiest thing to look at for me. 
But here was this little boy who couldn't contain his excitement and he had so many questions for me. When will the butterflies come out? Will it all be at the same time? What color will it be? And on and on and on. So what did I do? Inside, I wanted to run away. But we stood there looking at this cocoon-filled bush for 30 minutes, just talking and watching. I continued to develop on that interest at home with some homemade Montessori materials and some activities. I shared in his interest. And you know what? I enjoyed it. I learned so many new things too. My sons are now 18 years old and guess what? I still do this till today. Whether it's Broadway musicals, Hollywood movies or painting, I share in it all and it's help us, helped us to create this amazing bond. Following the child means offering more support and giving up a little bit of control. The returns are going to be long lasting. Patience now means a happier and more fulfilled child later. Support now means a more independent child later. A genuine yes now means later, when you do need to say no to your child, they will be able to hear it and respect it because they've come to see you as a person that they can rely on. So whether it's bugs or rocket ships, the solar system or dinosaurs, respect your child, watch your child, follow your child. If you would like to keep learning about Montessori, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm looking forward to sharing more with you. Have a beautiful day.